Welcome to Pardon the Interruption. I'm your host, Brad Romano, here with Micah Fleshman and Andrew Trupp. Now, the topic today is Shohei Otanye. So, Andrew, the Angels are below 500 right now. They are struggling massively. They have this great, great player, Shohei Otanye. But the question is, should they trade him at the trade deadline due to the struggles? Well, I mean, you've got a really uh, interesting case here because Shohei Otani is a once-in-a-generation player. You haven't seen a guy like this since Babe Ruth. The numbers that he's putting up while pitching and batting is insane. So I think if you're the Angels, letting him, I think trading him kind of ensures that you're not going to be able to re-sign him. And you want this guy around. You want to build around him because he's the greatest baseball player of this current generation. And I think he will go down as a top 10 player all time. I think uh, you can't. there's no reason to trade him if you think he can re-sign. Um, because you, you got to resign him if you want. But that's the thing; they can't resign series. him, Andrew. There's just no way that that's gonna happen. He's made it blatantly clear, in the most nondescript way, that he's not gonna be back with the Angels. We know he wants to stay on the West Coast. That's why he didn't heavily pursue the Yankees. That's why he didn't heavily pursue the Mets. That's why he didn't heavily pursue the Red Sox when he was coming over from Japan. He's going to stay on the West Coast, whether that's with the Dodgers or another team, even in California. So be it. But the Angels aren't the team for him. They, we saw them waste away Mike Trout's prime. You know, uh, Do they get to the point where they can make a playoff push? They have two of the best players in baseball, probably the best player in baseball in Shohei Otani, and either the second or third best in Mike Trout. And they haven't gotten to the playoffs yet. And I don't think they've been over 500 or at least 10 games over. They haven't won 90 games. The, the Angels had Pujols, they had Trout, now they have Trout, they have Otani. They got to the playoffs one time with Pujols and Trout. Otani doesn't want history to repeat itself. He's got to get out of there. They got to trade him because you rather want, well, you rather give him to another team as a rental and get something out of him than let him walk and get nothing. That That's, um, that's what I think, but what kind of a package... If you're the Angels, are you wanting? You're wanting Juan Soto type deal for a the, rental. That's the thing is because thing. we've never seen a guy of this caliber like we like you talked about. We haven't seen someone like this since Babe Ruth, but in reality, we've never seen someone like this. Babe Ruth pitched Babe Ruth, and hit for yeah. three years. Shohei Otani's doing stuff that we've never seen on a baseball field. So that's why he's definitely getting this $500, $600 million contract, which sources and executives have thrown around left, right, and center. But what kind of package can the Angels get? That's the good thing about the situation that they're in. They can ask for whatever they want because there is no set market for this guy. Yeah, and you brought up that Shohei Otani has indiscreetly expressed that he doesn't want to stay with the Angels. But at the end of the day, this isn't Shohei Otani's decision to make. It's the Angels. And what we've seen with LA throughout the past few years with the Mike Trout uh, contracts I, I just don't think the philosophy that the Angels are trying to run they're gonna try they're gonna give him as much money as he may want and even if he if he doesn't resign he doesn't resign but I just don't think that I, I don't, at this point they can trade him I, I don't think money is a question because when you have a guy like this in on your franchise on your team in the clubhouse in that locker room a guy that is the face of baseball one of them at mm. least you can't let him walk you have to give him the money but the thing is like i mentioned there is no market for this guy we are going to see the first 500 million dollar contract in baseball. all right final thoughts we're going to wrap it up here andrew so i think if you're saying that you can't let him walk if you trade him that guarantees he's gone if you don't trade him there's at least a slim chance that he'll sign a big contract with you this fall you got to trade him so you get something instead of getting nothing. It's that simple. There's don't, nothing else. I just don't think there's anything. All right. That's going to do it for PTI. I'm Brad Romano here with Andrew Tropp and Micah Fleshman. Thank you for watching.